Now I'm going to show you two different ways to perform revolve cut. So let's select a face and I'm going to sketch a rectangle. You can draw any other shape or the shape that you want to do the cut. So that's the rectangle I accept. Now I have to go to the feature and select the revolve cut. The option asks me to select the axis of revolution. So I can select this axis, this axis, this or this axis. So I'm selecting this axis and you see it's creating the revolve cut. So if I say you can customize the degree how far you want to cut. If you want to cut less than uh, full of the 360 degree then you can change that. So let's do 360 so it did the cut all the way through you see here or if you want to make it clear visible you can select go here and you can select glass and it will show you that it did the revolve cut through the cube. The second way to do the revolve cut is that if I need to cut a rectangle revolve cut inside an object. Previously we started from a face and cut from that face but what if I need a cut through inside the cube. So in that case you need to create another plane. We showed how to do that in previous videos and I draw a rectangle and I again draw a line in the middle to have as my axis of rotation. So, so now I'm selecting the revolve cut. It is asking for a planar face or an edge. So I'm selecting my axis of rotation and you see it is selected here. So all I have to do is select the contour. So rectangle I selected and I say yes. Now it asking me whether I want to keep the outer body or inner body. So I can select selected body and you see if I select the first one so it will keep the outside and if I click the second one it will just keep the inside one. So let's do um, keep the outside and don't keep the inside. So say OK and it's created. So it is already a cut inside and we cannot see. Easy way to see it, there's many options, is again just go to glass and drop the glass and you see that rectangle cut was created inside the 3D object. Thank you.